lookup tables are standard block sets that approximate functions. Simulin coverage defines the coverage of lookup tables by checking if all grid points defined by breakpoints are executed during simulation. The minimum and the maximum breakpoints for each dimension, also known as the corner points, define the boundaries of lookup table. Simulin design verifier generates test cases to achieve 100% MCDC coverage in the model. There might be cases where the user may want to generate test cases for lookup table coverage for corner points. To do this, you can use block replacement. In this video, we will walk you through the customization steps to automatically generate test cases for exercising corner point of lookup table blocks. To demonstrate this workflow, we will be using the documentation example which is shipping in R22A. You can access this model by using the command open example. In this model, let us navigate to the throttle estimation 2D lookup table. This lookup table is present over here. To understand the corner value coverage, let us run default coverage simulation with lookup table coverage enabled. Let us now navigate to the coverage report. Let us visualize coverage for throttle estimate lookup table. In the lookup table details section, we can see the four corner points associated with this lookup table are first, here the breakpoint 1 has to be set to a value less than 50. The breakpoint 2 has to be set to a value which is less than 0 0.05. Similarly, we have other four corner points. The second one is the top right corner. Third interval is bottom left and fourth interval is bottom right. We need to generate test cases for these four corner points of this lookup table. SLDV can generate tests for such objectives using SLDV.test API. We can see the usage of SLDV.test API in the shipping example block replacement library. To do that, we open the library LUT corner value instrumentation library and then navigate inside this mask block. We can see a MATLAB function block here defines the breakpoint combinations to generate test cases for corner values of the lookup table using SLDV.test API. This is a general framework and can be used across any to do lookup table for corner value test case generation. This replacement library block is called from the block replacement rule instrument LUT for corner value coverage.m file. Before generating test cases from SLDV, we navigate to SLDV block replacement configuration parameter and set the block replacement rule as instrument LUT for corner value coverage. So this block replacement would be called while generating the tests. Once this is done, we click on generate tests. Once the test cases are generated, we can see the replacement model generated in the SLDV underscore output directory. In this model, we can see the throttle estimate lookup table is being replaced as per the block replacement rule and here it contains the MATLAB function block which have sldv.test conditions defined. We now generate coverage report to analyze the corner value coverage for throttle estimate lookup table. To do this, we click on simulate tests and produce a model coverage report. We can see here that the top two corner values, that is the top left and the top right corner values are being covered, while the bottom two corner values are not covered and shows execution count as zero. To understand this, let us open the SLDV HTML results report. To do this, we click on HTML link in the detailed analysis report section. In this report, we can see the applied block replacements. 
in this example three lookup tables were replaced and there are few unsatisfiable objectives associated with lookup table let us see objective number 10 and 12 which are associated with throttle estimate lookup table to satisfy these both objectives the input for dimension 1 should be made as greater than the maximum value of breakpoint 1 in the lookup table we can see that the maximum value for the breakpoint 1 is 1000 and it is being driven by the input speed however the model design constraint the input range of speed from 0 to 1000 hence the value of speed can never be made greater than 1000 and we get unsatisfiable objective you may then use these results to determine if this is an acceptable behavior and to modify the requirements and design we now conclude this video and hope you get a better understanding on how to insert custom objectives to generate test cases for specific coverage metrics Thank you for listening.